Hello my lovelies and welcome back to my channel. This is your daily tarot reading for the 9th of December 2022. We are still in our full moon period and as I have previously warned my ancestors have latched onto a particular deck. I apologize for those of you who don't want to do shadow work but this is what they're calling for. This is the fourth day in a row so this is what we're going to use. And hopefully we can get something interesting out of here. Alright, once this is just for guys, you two get to guide me. What does the collective need to know for the 9th of December 2022? Oh, the Ten of Pentacles. That uh, I've had that so many days now. Oh, and the Sun card. Now, yesterday we had these exact same two cards, but they were in this order. So I'm curious to see what else they give you, considering you've seen me shuffling. And this is the angel spirit guide to guide me. What does the collective need to know for the night of December 2022? two cards the nine of pentacles ooh and the seven of cups okay let me double check make sure that they don't want anything else after the seven of cups get another card. Hold on, let me make room. They gave us the Six of Pentacles. Alright. I have to rearrange this just a little bit because I got another card. They want more. cards after the page of wands, so and this is in just weird guys because you're forgetting what does the collective need to know. Alright, five of pentacles. And this is in just weird because you're forgetting what does the collective need to know for the 9th of December 2022. card. Hold on. Alright, I think 
that is the very last card that they want. Let me double check to make sure we're still all in frame for the most part. And I apologize for any glare that we have here. I left my flash off on this deck just to make sure that we didn't have too much glare. So we have the Ten of Pentacles, the Sun, the Nine of Pentacles, the Seven of Cups, the Six of Pentacles, the Page of Wands, the Five of Pentacles, the Page of Pentacles, the Magician, and the Two of Wands. Okay, so once again, we know what we want to do, what happiness there is for us to take part of that we want that's our goal you know what that is we've at least identified it and what's even more important is that we do have the ability the resources to go after it we have the tools as it were or we can at least make do with what we have to go towards it we have to make that option we really have to make that option. <laughs> and I kind of get with the Six of Pentacles that not only is this a good option to move towards our happiness, which usually always is, but if we're balancing out the negatives and the positives, if we've kind of created a stable foundation for ourselves, that makes this choice easier. It makes it easier for us to avail ourselves of that choice to actually go after our happiness. Especially if we're inspired here with this page of wands. So if this is like, you know, say you want to be a top artist, that's your happiness, that's your dream job. So once inspiration strikes and, and whatnot, and we get the courage with this page of wands to go after it, things will start kicking off. Even if we feel like maybe we are lacking something, believe it or not, you got the Knight of Pentacles here, so you're not lacking anything. Get started with what you have. Just get started. Start chasing that dream. Make that choice. Start putting effort into it and start out. Yes, you may not be perfect at whatever you're trying to accomplish. No, it may not look like the final product yet. That happiness, that dream vision will not appear overnight. Once again, it is not a quick fix. It will not manifest it, you know, within a day. But you have to get started and you have to realize that that youthful flame, you have to go ahead and feed it feed it till it's just a roaring fire till it's a bonfire till you can actually blaze through everything and reach that finish line that goal that dream that you have at the end and actually make it completely 3d and manifest it so start setting goals start taking that opportunity Start putting that effort into that project, that career. Start utilizing all the opportunities in the 3D world. Take that choice and run with it. Create that opportunity for yourself if you have to. Manifest your happy ending. Happy ending. Yes, you will have to put in effort once again, but you fully have to take that first step. And yes, you may feel like you've got lead weights on your feet with this Five of Pentacles, but that's okay. You don't need to have everything as if you've already succeeded with every high-tech gadget or all the money in the world. You know, you don't need a million dollars to start having that career and be an entrepreneur. You don't need this and that. Start with what you have. 
manifest it. Use what tools you have. You have resources. You have talents. You have traits. You have personality. You have individuality. You have all these things at your disposal. You have people skills. You have all these things that aren't exactly tied to physical money or connections or degrees even if you think you need schooling start with the knowledge you have and yes you may have to start out small it is fine take the opportunity anyway make the choice because for right now you're waiting you're waiting because you think that you don't have everything that you're lacking something start now like I said take that first step I know I don't have the full card here, but make that choice. Start. Start with what you have. Manifest it for yourself. And yes, you have to put energy in to get energy out. The universe will meet you halfway, so start with what you have. Now, whether this is something on a big scale like buying a house and you don't think you have enough money to do that but this card says that hey you have enough to get a home loan great try see what you can get I think you'd be surprised maybe this is you trying to get a career going and it's something that you don't know very much about but you're passionate about it start with what you have don't let fear hold you back. Don't don't get it in that lacking mindset. You literally have the magician card right here. You can manifest things. You can go ahead and use what's at your disposal. You have more talent and more things on your side than you think. But right now you keep on waiting because you haven't made the choice yet. Make the choice. Get started. That happiness is waiting for you. But you have to get started. You will never have that happiness if you don't leave the start line. Believe it or not, the finish line is not going to jump itself at you. You have to get started. Let's see. Let me see for just a minute what else I can see here. And if my math is correct, all the cards add up to 61, which reduces to 7, which is the mind and creativity. Your mind is literally the best tool you have. It's also the greatest hindrance you have. Like I said, get rid of that lack mindset. Get creative with what you have. You don't have to have everything to make it perfect. If you're stuck, if you're waiting to have everything all lined up in a row, and all perfect you will never get started and this happy ending that this happiness this reward that you're trying to literally manifest and bring in will not come because you're still stuck you're still at the starting line you're still waiting use that mind get creative manifest it for yourself but get started literally get started All right, my lovelies, I'm going to go ahead and leave it here. Please let me know how this resonates for you. Feel free to like, share, and subscribe to the video. Thank you for watching, and I'll catch you tomorrow. Bye.